So here we are. Um, I have a tin of House of Windsor. Uh, go ahead and hold it up, man. Bourbon Street. This is um, out of print, I guess. House of Windsor folded its house um, not too long ago, a couple years ago, something like that. Um, and uh, I walked into the tobacconist that had this, and the woman said that I could just have the tin. I could keep it. Um, I could keep it because, uh, can you shut the laptop, man, it's kind of got some backlight there. Um, I, um, I, she said I could keep the tin because it had been there for ages. So there it is, cracking open. Maybe. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and I'm a little worried that it might be really dry because I was rattling it around in the tin and it had a, had kind of a dry sound sound to the rattle. There's, there it is. Let me smell that for a second. Mm -hmm. oh, it's definitely cased with something, kind of an apricot-y smell. It's a little moist. It's not completely dry. It's definitely not as moist as most tins I open. It's a little dry, actually. It doesn't smell all too bad. And it's got, yeah, it's got kind of a, what kind of cut is there? Just kind of a chunky cut. It's called cube cut. On cube cut. So, I'm very curious. We're going to put a bowl uh, in, um, probably into our cheaper pipes. <laughs> because we're using a cob. <laughs> right. So sure. Right. Um, uh, because we, heard, we read uh, on Tobacco Reviews that this uh, ghosts like crazy. It's going gonna, it's gonna to stink up our pipes. Leave them a sticky mess. So we're going to give a review. I think this is very timely uh, that we found this tin because uh, we watched um, uh, Pipester Jim's video on him finding a tin of uh, early morning pipe by um, Dunhill. So very jealous they're, of that. They're pretty much like on par, these two tobaccos. <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. Not quite. But, uh, but it's, cool. it's cool just to smoke something that's... Uh, that is no longer with us, House of Windsor. A suppose piece of history. That yeah, a little to smoke up. piece of tobacco history. And it's weird. I did some searching, and uh, there are companies that sell knockoffs of it. It's funny because I read a lot of really bad reviews for this. So uh, somebody selling a knockoff of something that that it looks like a lot of people didn't particularly like. Uh, but we're gonna smoke it and uh, and give it give us your uh, give you our thoughts. Um, so we'll be back in a second. We're back, uh, so we've been smoking this Bourbon Street blend from House of Windsor. Um, my initial impressions are, it's a lot like our good friend Carter Hall here, but, mm. um, cube cut instead of ribbon like this is, and, uh, more of a topping. Um, we were just reading tobacco reviews, and somebody said that it's orange and vanilla, which, if you kind of concentrate, yeah, it can seem kind of like that. And the next reviewer said they really liked it, but it was kind of difficult to pinpoint what the topping was on top of the, all yeah. these burglars and Virginias, and uh, I'm kind of in that camp. I really like I it. I agree with the second person. Yeah. I mean, slight hints maybe of the citrus, slight hints of the vanilla, but really... Um, Ultimately, just a really smooth, mild, kind of burly blend. Nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's nothing overly sophisticated, nothing complex. Uh, it was free, so I think I got my money's worth, actually. Um, <laughs> right. It's weird. It's, I mean, I've smoked um, tobacco blends, uh, pipe blends, that are cased with oranges, and this is nothing like those. It's, it's very faint, if they're at all. Um, if you do like orange blends, I would I wouldn't smoke uh, Bourbon Street. I would smoke this if you're in Europe or Italy, uh, Cellini, um, which uh, when I was visiting my relatives uh, down in Padova, I picked up. Uh, they just have this at the drugstore everywhere for about four, maybe six euros, and uh, oh, it's delicious! Oh my heavens! Uh, it's um, it's a uh, case kind of with chocolate and orange. Uh, so when I read citrus notes, I'm like, no, I, I've smoked something with citrus notes, and this is faint if existent at all. Um, 
I would love to try the other House of Windsor blends, but unfortunately they are no, they are no longer with us. Yep, they are all done. So so I'm glad I have the Bourbon Street, um, but um, I think if I never smoked it, oh, would I be missing a ton? Mm, maybe not so much. But we're smoking pipe tobacco history here. Mm. Kind of neat. That's the that's the most exciting part of it. I can I imagine a lot of grandfathers smelled like this. <laughs> yeah. Yes, this is it is a classic tobacco and uh and I I feel privileged to to be able to try it but uh I don't know. I I I think I much rather would have run across a free tin of uh Balkan Sobrani or or, or early morning pipe. Early morning pipe for that matter cuz yeah. uh if you visit eBay, oh man, that's worth some money. <laughs> to boot. But uh, I probably wouldn't sell it. I'd smoke it. Yep. Anyway, well, take it easy, YouTube. Thanks, YouTube.